I practice commercial litigation at a boutique called Laxa Sullivan Scott Lysis. Uh, it's not the result of any long-term planning necessarily on my part. I got interested in the practice of law in undergraduate, took criminology minor, um, really became interested in criminal work actually and defense side and that followed me through law school. But after graduating from law school, uh, clerked at the Court of Appeal, got exposure to commercial litigation. Uh, I also went and spent a couple of years practicing in New York in doing commercial litigation and found that I really enjoyed the work and found it very engaging and challenging. And so when I made the decision to, um, to come back to Canada, I uh, looked specifically for opportunities in commercial litigation. That's what I've been doing since. I like to think that I've got a work ethic that uh, lends itself to taking the time that's necessary to give the, the best level of quality uh, service to clients. Um, I've learned largely through experience that to be successful in the practice of law it requires more than just native intelligence. Uh, even learn skills. Uh, there is uh, the need to devote the time and energy to a file in order to, uh, to provide the best services possible. The other thing that I think that I bring to the files that I work on or the clients that I work with is um, creative thinking and really looking for creative solutions to clients' problems or to difficult files. I've had the opportunity or the, the benefit over the course of my career to work with a number of people, uh, a number of lawyers who I really admire and who I've learned a lot from. Um, amongst that group, there have been several that really stand out who really exemplified uh, leadership to me. And um, just one example from the group, uh, Cliff Lax, who is a partner at our firm. Uh, the thing that I've learned from Cliff over the years is the importance of treating the people who you work with with respect, uh, showing interest in them and, and their pursuits outside of just the practice of law. And what I've taken from that is that when you empower the people that you work with, uh, when you show them the same respect that you would ask for in return, it really does develop a sense of loyalty and, uh, and people want to do their best work for you. And so that's one thing that I think Cliff really exhibits, and there have been others, but he's one person who comes to mind in that respect. Pro bono work um, uh, that I've had the opportunity to be involved with has both given me the opportunity to um, give back to an extent, uh, and, and particularly to assist uh, people who otherwise I wouldn't necessarily be uh, or have the opportunity to work with. Um, and then as well, it, it's exposed me to some very interesting files that, again, uh, otherwise I wouldn't be dealing with on a day-in, day-out basis. One example, one recent example, is I represented a client who was bringing an appeal or, or seeking judicial review from a decision related to the G20 events and a complaint they had made against the police arising out of those G20 events. And that's not work that I typically do, but it was interesting. Um, we were able to define, uh, the client was able to define uh, individual and the public's rights under the Pol Police Services Act. And so I think we got a good result, um, was able to uh, work in an area that I'm interested in, civil liberties. And, uh, and so I got something from it and like to think that also was able to give something to a client who otherwise perhaps may not have had the opportunity to pay for legal, legal representation in those circumstances.